Hi guys, my name is Megan Bryant, and I'm gonna just come right out and say it. I am an improv fanatic. For me, it's become really a way of life. In 2006, I was first introduced to improv. And at the time I thought, this is a really fun, creative, high energy outlet for me. As a performer, it sounded like a perfect fit and I jumped in and never looked back. What I wasn't expecting at the time was that learning these skills that make improv work as a performance art were gonna translate into every other aspect of my life. It really helped me understand how I show up, the way that I can contribute with my ideas, the way that I can accept other people with their ideas, meet people where they are in that moment, and just have this new energized presence. A lot of times when I talk about what I do, people get nervous and they retract and they're super scared because they think they have to be funny. They think this is all about performance. They don't think they know how to be uh, on the spot and how to uh, think quickly. So all these years later, that's what I dedicate my life to, is helping people understand that the reason that improv works as a performance art is because we're playing by these very simple rules that help each other look better on stage. We're not racing to be funny, we're looking for connection. And isn't that what we're all looking for, personally and professionally? I encourage you to join me on a really short, fun, action-packed five-day journey to help you understand the core of yes and and how you can apply that to your life. It's the basic principle that drives improv scenes and life. Everybody has improv uh, abilities built in. They just look different for everybody. It's a shift in your mindset. Find out how much you might actually be blocking yourself in achieving your own goals in communicating with your friends and family, um, and just feeling good about who you are inside the skin that you are in. It's so much fun. It's so much more robust than just playing. You're going to be able to recognize little things about yourself that you maybe couldn't pinpoint before. And with that information, be able to empower yourself to be a better communicator personally and professionally, to stand firm in who you are, again, to respect others and how they show up, and to use yes and as an action tool to accomplish things, to set healthy boundaries, and to look at the world in a little bit more positive of a perspective all the time. You're gonna love it. And if you're feeling nervous or reluctant about improv, this is your perfect chance to be able to jump in without actually having to physically show up and feel like you're being put on the spot and that you have to be funny and all these preconceived notions that you've got blah, 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 dialoguing in your head. This is something you can do from the comfort of your home, just a couple of minutes a day. I'm gonna throw some nuggets at you to help you just start making these little shifts that are gonna make a huge, long-lasting impact on the way that you show up every day of your life. I wanna invite you to give yourself just a handful of days, a five day commitment for you to be able to get a taste of improv. So click the button, subscribe, so easy, it's free. I just, I just want you to get a taste of improv. Experience it in a small dose and I promise you're gonna love the way that it makes you feel.